luckily, like, weirdly, coincidentally, we all came back in the room at, at the right moment. And we had like a really nice, uh, well, a really nice goodbye, I guess. It's weird. Um, yeah, I don't say it was nice because I, when I got that phone call originally, I, I grieved. Then, I think, because I knew what it meant, and I accepted the loss then, um, and I had a week where I was like, I felt like I was in a, a dream world, like I was a zombie, I was just running around trying to sort things out for her, and just trying to do whatever I could, um, yeah, I felt, for the first like week or ten days, I felt terrible. And then I kind of had a word with myself, and I was like, you can't continue like this for, for too long, because you'll be useless to, like, absolutely everyone, and you need to, well, you need to kind of get yourself together, which I know isn't as easy as it sounds, but the way that I did it was, I decided that it was painful to think about the past, like everyone's got regrets in their life when it comes to parents or loved ones, things you said or things you did or whatever. I realised that thinking about that was completely unuseful. Um, and I realised that worrying about what was going to happen tomorrow or the next week or the next month or the next year, however long it was going to be, was completely unhelpful. You realise that the past and the future are kind of damaging to you. All you can do is be as present as possible. So just enjoy, just enjoy being there with that person, um, and just enjoy the day as much as you can. Like I found myself appreciating the. Um, the sun coming out a lot more and I appreciated like everything, I appreciated having a shower more and I appreciated having like pointless little conversations or laughing and I appreciated all that stuff a lot more which meant I could enjoy the time with my mum that we had left however long that was going to be, I could enjoy that a lot more um, and I know it's, it's very difficult. I couldn't have done that straight away. I think I had to go through that period at the start where I was just a kind of a, a wreck, I guess. For me to then sort of take a step back and think, okay, this isn't working right now. How can I deal with this? Or how can I deal with this? And being present is the only way to do that. Um, so if you're going through like a hard time right now, whether it's uh, someone's ill, whether you've lost somebody, whatever it may be, maybe you're ill. Any regrets or any worries from the future, you need to just push them aside take a deep breath and enjoy what's going on right now because when you're when you're like truly present in the moment an hour can mean more than a week or a month or even a year of time when you're worrying and regretting or maybe you're angry about something like being present in an actual moment and then what's going on and what you've been faced with it at that time um, it's going to take a lot of the worry away from you um, I hope I'm explaining that the way I want to 
um, I know like it just absolutely saved me during that time because I never thought I'd be able to deal with it like I never ever thought I'd be able to deal with my, my mum being ill knowing she was going to die and then they're dying but we really just uh, I don't know it turned out being really nice which is a weird thing to say like obviously I'm still sad and upset and I think I always will be but no amount of regretting anything or beating yourself up I think it's going to make anything better at all um, so you just need to kind of I think everyone's gonna everyone's gonna find a way to deal with things differently and you need to find your own way but my own way is to just I mean you gotta accept what's happened for a start um, which is difficult but once I once I accepted there was nothing I could do to change the outcome that was that was coming um, and all of that it kind of made it a lot made it a lot easier to handle um, not that any part of it was easy but letting go of these things and just being there at that time made things allowed things to be enjoyable and even now like after the fact like I still you still have moments where it's where obviously I guess it's kind of crushing like what's happened but you can't dwell in that or, or on what's happened at all because that can't be changed now there's nothing that could change that because it's happened um, and you can't worry about how you're going to deal with it or what you're going to be like in a month's time or a year's time or whatever um, because that's just completely unhelpful so all you can do is just think about how you're feeling today and yeah I'm really just trying to accept accept what's happened um, because I mean that's the only way you're gonna you're gonna be happy is just by accepting the whatever mad thing it is that's happened to you <laughs> and like trust me I, 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 every day I'm like I just think at some stage I think this is absolutely mad I can't believe that any of this has happened but at the end of the day I've got to accept that it has happened um, and there's really nothing else that can be can be done about it um, yeah I mean I kind of just wanted to share with you my thoughts on the whole thing and I'm not trying to make this upsetting at all and I'm not trying to make this I don't want this to seem like a video that people make um, you know, if someone makes like an apology video or makes uh, like an overly traumatic video for views, I don't want that to, I don't want this to come across as that at all. I want this to come across as me letting you know that even when the worst possible thing happens to you, you can still be okay. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's really the message here, like you can be okay, and you will be okay, and there's no, <sighs> and there's no shame in feeling okay, like, there's been days where I've felt absolutely fine, and you kind of got to tell yourself, it's okay to be okay. I mean, it's okay to not be okay, but I think that's almost more accepted than it's okay to be okay. 
there's no point in, in beating yourself up or worrying or or anything like sometimes you feel okay and you're in a stage of like real acceptance and and reflection and stuff and you, and you feel good that's absolutely fine that's a, that's a good thing um, and I know for sure that my mum would want me to be okay which is a big driving force behind why I why I'm getting on um, doing what I've got to do um, I used to do everything to make her proud um, and I, th I don't think that's changed yeah <laughs> I know this has been a bit of a ramble but it's a huge subject um, and I hope this has helped you in some way and I hope it hasn't upset you in any way because that's not what I wanted it uh, I don't want it to have any kind of any I don't want it to put any feelings on you that aren't positive let's put it that way um, but yeah that's my experience and I hope it's helped and uh, I'll see you soon Bye-bye.